For today's pronunciation tip, I'd like to talk about the names of a couple of composers, one Finnish, one Estonian. Now, a lot of English speakers tend to freak out when faced with many Finnish names and some Estonian ones. This is because growing up speaking English is like growing up in a house where every room is an escape room. In order to get through the door, you can't just turn the handle, you have to solve a puzzle. So you get to a door and you look at it and you think, okay, well, this other door was like that, and so maybe if I do that thing that worked and this other thing from this other door, well, then maybe I can get through. And if you go and stay over in someone else's house, you look at the door and you think, well, hmm, this is a weird-looking door, and it's kind of ornate. And maybe that thing or that thing, oh, I, I, I'm never going to get through this door. I don't know what to do. Dude, just walk up to the door, turn the handle, and open it. English spelling has such a fraught relation to English pronunciation that we can hardly believe that the spelling and pronunciation relationship of any other language could be simple. But in Estonian and Finnish, it actually is. It's only a slight exaggeration to say that they have a one-to-one -one correspondence between letter and sound. Now, if I just flatly say it's a one-to-one -one correspondence, somebody is going to show up in the comments and say, well, it's not quite that. You know, once you get to speak it, well, that's fine. If you're an English speaker just wanting to say a Finnish or Estonian name in the context of English conversation, you can really go by the one-to-one -one correspondence. Each letter stands for the same sound everywhere you see it, each sound is represented by the same letter everywhere. No letter stands for two different sounds. No sound is represented by two different letters. And also, in addition as well, plus two, the stress is always on the first syllable. You don't have to guess about the stress. It's always on the first syllable. So, let's take our first composer's name. Here's a Finnish composer, and you might look at this and think, I don't know what to do with that. Well, sound it out. Eino Yuhani. Eino Yuhani. Eino Yuhani. That's it. Eino Yuhani. Then Rautavara. 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 Eino Yuhani Rautavara. Eino Yuhani Rautavara. Eino Yuhani Rautavara. There, you are sounding like Finnish person already. The other one looks simpler, but it's actually more guaranteed to trip up most English speakers just because of this one little thing. Well, two little things. The dots on the A in the last name. Here's the thing. In Finnish and Estonian, there are front-back parallels between letters. So, U is at the back and U, spelt Y, is at the front. O, O, at the back, U, with the two dots at the front. A, at the back, E, with two dots at the front. Now, we look at that A with the two dots, and if you speak German, you might think, well, that's A. Nope, nope, it's not, because A is with the letter we call E. So, A, E. Estonian also has another thing, an O with a tilde on it, that's like a back O unrounded. O, U, U. But you're not going to need to know that today. So just look that up later if you need to find out. So this composer, first name, extremely simple. Nobody would say it's difficult. Arvo. Second name, that's the hard part. Or the hard part? No, the hard part. See, the thing is, in English, as much as we can say a given vowel in many different ways, there are some ways we're not allowed to say it in some places, especially depending on the kind of English we speak. For most Canadians, you can't say a ah before er. So we, sp we sound this name out, p -a -r -t -part -part. but the problem is, if you're Canadian, you can't say part. Not actually. You can say part or part. And if you say part, well, that's, okay, that's just incorrect, and somebody's probably going to call you on it. If you say part, a lot of people will think you're right, but it's actually also not the pronunciation. It's closer, maybe, but no. It's part. So, I'm not saying that you have to say arvo part or arvo part, but if you want to know, that's what it is. 
So there we go. Eno Johanni Rautavara and Arvo Pert. And then just put some on and give it a nice listen. <laughs> 